Have you ever gone to bed at night feeling like the day's problems are still with you? Those thoughts that won't let your mind rest, which seem to gain strength in the silence of the night. Pay attention because God is ready to give you rest and security. Even when everything around you seems uncertain, he offers protection while you sleep. Imagine handing over every worry, every doubt, and every fear into God's hands, knowing that He is taking care of you. His vigilance never fails, and while you rest, He is working to ensure your peace. Sleep is not just a moment of pause for the body, but an opportunity to trust fully in God's care. When you place your trust in Him before sleeping, you experience the tranquility of being under the protection of the Creator. One of the greatest gifts God offers us is protection. He watches over us during the day, guides us in our paths, and He is also the one who watches over our rest at night. Often, as we prepare to sleep, our minds can be filled with thoughts, worries, and uncertainties about the future. However, God invites us to lay all of that at His feet and trust that He will protect us while we sleep. Sleep is a moment of rest, renewal, and total surrender. When we sleep, we have no control over what happens around us, but we have the assurance that God is in control. In Psalm 4.8, the Word reminds us, In peace I will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. This promise assures us that as we lie down, we can rest in peace, trusting that God is taking care of us. He does not sleep, nor does He tire, and His vigilance never fails. Knowing that the Lord is our protector allows us to hand over all the worries, fears, and anxieties that try to steal our peace at night. Often, the difficulties and challenges we face during the day can follow us to bedtime. Anxious thoughts and concerns about the future can try to prevent us from fully resting. But God, in His goodness, offers us something deeper than just physical rest. He offers peace for the soul and protection for the spirit. In Philippians 4, 6-7, we are reminded, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This means that before sleeping, we can give everything to God, every worry and fear, and trust that He will take care of us while we rest. Beyond protection, God also guides our sleep. Sleep is a divine gift, a time when our body and mind can be restored. When we ask God to guide our sleep, we invite His presence to renew us throughout the night. Just as He guides our steps throughout the day, God also guides our rest, preparing us for a new day full of opportunities. Psalms 121.3.4 says, He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. This promise reminds us that even when we are vulnerable in sleep, God is always alert, caring for every detail. Tonight, I want to invite you to take a pause and reflect on God's goodness in protecting and guiding your life, even while you sleep. As you prepare to rest, surrender all your thoughts, worries, and burdens into God's hands. He is faithful to care for you and guide you while you sleep, ensuring that you wake up renewed and strengthened to face the new day ahead. Let us come together in prayer, asking the Lord to envelop us with His peace and protection and to lead us into a deep and blessed rest. One of the most common situations we face at the end of the day is the weight of accumulated worries. Sometimes, the daily challenges follow us to bed, preventing us from having a full and restorative sleep. We get trapped in thoughts about decisions that need to be made, problems that still have no solution, or fears about the future. However, God calls us to cast all these anxieties on Him. In 1 Peter 5.7, 
we are invited to cast all our cares on the Lord because He cares for us. This care is not limited to the hours of the day, but extends to our nighttime rest as well. When we feel overwhelmed, it's important to remember that we don't have to carry these burdens alone. God invites us to surrender each of these concerns to Him before we sleep, trusting that He is in control and that while we sleep, He is working to resolve what troubles us. By doing this, we place ourselves in a position of trust, allowing God to take care of what is beyond our reach, bringing peace to our hearts. Another scenario that often affects our rest is fear, whether it's the fear of the unknown, the future, or situations that seem beyond our control, these feelings can consume us at night. The Bible gives us a powerful example of how God protects us and gives us peace in the midst of fear in the story of David. In Psalms 3, 5 to 6, David writes, I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear though tens of thousands assail me on every side. David faced real enemies and physical dangers, but his confidence in God was unwavering. He knew that even in the face of threats, God was with him, protecting him. Similarly, when we face fears at night, we can remember that God is our protector. He is present, caring for us, and nothing can harm us without his permission. When we place our fears in God's hands, we experience the peace of knowing that he is in complete control. A third obstacle that often prevents us from sleeping well is the excess of control. We try to solve everything with our own strength, and when we can't, we end up frustrated and restless. We want to ensure that every detail of our lives is perfectly under our control but this can create enormous pressure. However, Jesus reminds us in Matthew 11, 28, 30, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This passage teaches us that true rest comes when we let go of control and allow God to carry our burdens. He invites us to exchange our heavy loads for the light yoke of His grace. When we surrender to God the control of the areas we try to manage alone, we are freed from the pressure of trying to solve everything. We can sleep in peace, knowing that He is ahead of all situations. One of the most challenging situations we may face at night is the feeling of insecurity. The uncertainties of life can leave us vulnerable, especially when we are preparing to sleep. However, the Word of God assures us that our security is in Him. In Psalm 91, 1-2 we read, Whoever dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. This psalm reminds us that when we trust in God, we are under the protection of His shadow. No matter what happens around us, we can rest knowing that He is our refuge. When we face moments of insecurity, we need to seek this truth and remember that while we sleep, we are protected by the Almighty God. He is our shield, and nothing can touch us without Him being in control. This gives us the confidence to rest safely, knowing that we are under His constant protection. Now that we have reflected on God's protection and care, it's time to prepare for prayer. We know that the Lord is always with us, even when we sleep. He offers us peace amid worries, security in the face of fears, and rest for our restless hearts. In this moment, let's surrender everything to Him, every worry, fear and thought that may rob us of sleep. Let's trust in the promise that God protects us while we rest, guiding our sleep with His loving and watchful presence. Let's pray together, knowing that we are safe in His hands. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight with hearts full of gratitude and confidence, knowing that you are the God who protects and cares for us at all times, especially while we sleep. 
At the end of this day, we want to thank you for your faithfulness and for always being present, even when the world around us seems uncertain. We know that you are our refuge, the one who never leaves us alone, and for that reason, we surrender everything to you at this hour. Every worry, every fear, every uncertainty that may be in our hearts, we lay at your feet, trusting that you are in control and that you will give us the peace necessary to rest securely. Father, many times we reach the end of the day carrying the weight of our concerns. Perhaps we have faced challenges at work, family conflicts, or even difficult decisions that we still do not know how to resolve. But today, Lord, we choose to trust in your promise that we can cast all our anxieties on you, for you care for us. We ask that your peace, which surpasses all understanding, calm our hearts and minds. May we release the control that we try to maintain over these situations and trust that you are working in every detail while we sleep. Give us the assurance that, as we hand over our worries to you, you are taking care of each one of them in a perfect way. Lord, we know that fear can try to steal our peace during the night. Fears about the future, about what is to come, or even fears related to our families or our well-being. But tonight, we choose to cast all fear upon you. Just as David declared, we know that we can lie down and sleep in peace because you sustain us. Even when we feel surrounded by difficult circumstances, we trust that you are our protector. We ask that you remove all fear from our hearts and help us to rest in your presence, knowing that with you by our side, there is nothing to fear. Beloved Father, we also pray for those moments when we try to control everything around us, and when we cannot, we feel frustrated and restless. We know that true rest comes when we let go of control and trust in your sovereignty. Jesus invited us to come to him when we are weary and burdened, promising to give us rest. In this moment, Lord, we surrender all the burdens we have tried to carry alone. We trust that you, in your goodness, are willing to guide us and carry us in those moments when we cannot move forward. We ask that your hand guide us as we rest, renewing our strength for the day to come. Loving Father, we also recognize that many times insecurity tries to prevent us from resting. The uncertainties of life can leave us vulnerable and make us feel unprotected. But we know that in you we find refuge and safety. In Psalm 91, you promise that whoever dwells in your shelter will be safe under your shadow. Therefore, tonight, we choose to dwell in your presence, trusting that you are our fortress, our shield. We ask that you wrap us in your protection while we sleep, guarding our homes, our families, and our hearts. We know that while we rest, you watch over us, and nothing can touch us without your permission. Lord, may we experience your true rest tonight, both physically and spiritually. May our bodies be renewed, our minds calmed, and our souls find peace in you. We trust that, while we sleep, you are taking care of every area of our lives, working on our behalf, even when we cannot see it. As we wake, may we be renewed and strengthened, ready to face a new day with the certainty that you guide and protect us. We thank you, Father, for your faithfulness, for your peace, and for your protection. Thank you for reminding us that we can rest, knowing that you have everything under control. In Jesus' name, we commit this night to you, fully trusting in your care and grace. Amen. If you have been blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing this video with a friend or family member and clicking the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Our Father, for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit.
We deeply appreciate all your support. You are blessed to be a blessing. Feel free to leave your prayer requests in the comments section so we can present them before God, asking for his blessings and victory, and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and around the world can join us in prayer for you. Stand firm in faith with us as we pray. If you wish to express your gratitude and help sustain our ministry, your generosity allows us to continue creating and sharing content that strengthens and inspires faith. Repeat after me with great faith. I have the right to be happy. If you believe this statement, write it in the comments with great faith. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.